In this example, we will learn about the multiplicity of zeros in a polynomial function. In part A, we'll define multiplicity of a zero. When we solve an equation of the form p of x equals zero, some of the roots may be duplicated. The multiplicity of a root is how many times the root appears as a solution. The multiplicity of a root gives an indication as to how the graph will behave near the x-intercept corresponding to the root. Let's take a look at a polynomial to illustrate the concept of multiplicity. A root with a multiplicity of 1 will pass straight through the x-axis. A root with a multiplicity of 2 will touch the x-axis but not cross it. A root with a multiplicity of 3 will have a cubic shape at the x-axis. For the graphs in parts b through e, determine the zeros and state each zero's multiplicity. In part b, we have the graph of p of x equals negative 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 1. We can find the zeros of the polynomial by solving the equation negative 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0. We can solve this equation by setting each factor equal to 0 and solving for x. x plus 3 equals 0 when x equals negative 3 and x minus 1 equals 0 when x equals 1. The roots of negative 3 and 1 match the x-intercepts of the graph. Each root occurs only once, so the graph passes through the x-axis. The multiplicity of each root is 1. In part c, we have the graph of p of x equals x minus 3 squared. x minus 3 squared is the same as x minus 3 times x minus 3. We can find the zeros by solving the equation x minus 3 times x minus 3 equals 0. We can solve this by setting each factor equal to 0 and solving for x. x minus 3 equals 0 when x equals 3, and x minus 3 equals 0 when x equals 3. We have duplicate roots of x equals 3 and x equals 3. The root of x equals 3 occurs twice, so it has a multiplicity of 2. The graph will touch the x-axis at x equals 3, but will not cross it. In part d, we have the graph of p of x equals x minus 1 cubed. x minus 1 cubed is the same as x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. We can find the zeros by solving the equation x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0 when x equals 1 x minus 1 equals 0 when x equals 1, and x minus 1 equals 0 when x equals 1. The root of x equals 1 occurs 3 times, so it has a multiplicity of 3. The graph will have a cubic shape at the x-axis. In part e, we have the graph of p of x equals x plus 1 squared times x minus 2. x plus 1 squared times x minus 2 is the same as x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. We can solve this by setting each factor equal to 0 and solving for x. x 
x plus 1 equals 0 when x equals negative 1, x plus 1 equals 0 when x equals negative 1, and x minus 2 equals 0 when x equals 2. x equals negative 1 has a multiplicity of 2, and x equals 2 has a multiplicity of 1.